3. Ali, Bob and Ravi bought tickets for three separate performance. The table below shows the number of tickets bought by each of them. A. If the total cost for Ali was RM122, for Bob RM87, and for Ravi is RM146, represent this information in the form of three equations. Then for B, find the cost per ticket for each of the performance. C. Determine how much it would cost Hassan to purchase two concerts, one orchestral and three opera tickets. Here is the table that summarizes the information given. Now, complete the table. Ali bought two concerts, one orchestral and one opera ticket. And the total cost is RM122. Bought Bob bought one concert, one orchestra and one opera ticket and the total cost is 87. Ravi bought two concert, two orchestra and one opera and total cost is 146. So, let X be the cost for concert per ticket, Y be the cost for orchestra per ticket and Z be the cost for opera per ticket. So for A, write in the form of three linear equation. So equation for Ali. We have 2x plus y plus z equals to 122. And for Bob, we have x plus y plus z equals to 87. And for Ravi is... 2x plus 2y plus z equals to 146. Next, find the cost per ticket for each of the performance. That means we have to find the value of x, y and z. So, I want to use Kramer's rule. In order to find x, y and z, rewrite the three equation in metric form of AX equals to P. The element in this metric represent the coefficient of variable X, Y and Z. And then this is variable metric and here is the non-metric. So we have the system of AX equals to B. The second step is find the determinant A. So I want to choose first row in order to find determinant A. Then determinant A is equals to element 2. Then times its cofactor negative 1 to the power row 1 plus column 1. Delete its row and column. Then write the resulting determinant. Then for the second element in row 1, which is element of row 1, column 2, times its cofactor, negative 1 to the power, row 1 plus column 2, delete its row and uh, column, then write the determinant, and the last element of row 1, column 3, which is 1, times its cofactor, negative 1 to the power, row 1 plus column 3, delete its row and column, then we have determinant 1, 1, 2, 2. Then solve for determinant, so we get determinant A is equal to negative 1. Then for the last step, find the value of X. Write this determinant Obtained by replacing element of metric B in first column and uh, divide by determinant A which is negative 1. Then find its determinant. So I want to use first column in order to get the determinant of the numerator. So 122 
times the cofactor negative 1 to the power rho 1 plus column 1 times the determinant and plus 87 times negative 1 to the power rho 1 plus column 2 and this is the determinant after deleting its row and column and the last element of column 1 which is 146 times the cofactor negative 1 to the power rho 1 plus column 3 times with its my uh, sorry its determinant after deleting its row and column and divide by negative 1 so we get negative 35 over negative 1 and x is equals to 35 next find the value of y so write the determinant obtained by replacing element of metric b in the second column and divide by determinant a which is negative 1 Okay, then find the determinant in the numerator. I want to choose the second column in order to get determinant of numerator. Then we have 122 for the first element of column 1 times its cofactor negative 1 to the power row 2 plus column 1 and delete its row and column. So, we have this determinant plus second element which is 87 times its cofactor negative 1 to the power row 2 plus column 2 and delete its row and column. We have determinant 2, 1, 2, 1 and plus the last element of row 2 column 3 which is 146 times its minor sorry its cofactor negative 1 to the power row 2 plus column 3 and this is the determinant after deleting its row and column then uh, divide by negative 1 which is determinant of a so we have negative 22 over negative 1. Then y is equals to 24. And the last one. Find the value of z. So write this determinant obtained by replacing element of metric B in the third column and divide by determinant A which is negative 1. Then, find the determinant of the numerator. So, I want to choose the third column in order to get determinant of the numerator. So, we can write as 122 for the first element times its cofactor. So, negative 1 to the power row 1 plus column 3 times its determinant after deleting the first row and third column and then plus second element of 87 times the cofactor negative 1 to the power row 2 plus column 3 and delete its row and column so we have this determinant plus 146 for the last element in the third column times the cofactor negative 1 to the power row 3 column 3 and don't forget to delete its row and column to have this determinant form and divide by the determinant a which is negative 1 then the answer is negative 28 over negative 1 so z is equals to 28 As a conclusion, therefore, the cost for concert is RM35 per ticket and the cost for orchestral is RM24 per ticket 
And the last one is the cost for Opera is RM28 per ticket. And the last question is, determine how much it would cost Hassan to purchase two concerts, one orchestral and three opera tickets. Remember, X is the cost of concert per ticket. Um, y is the cost of orchestral per ticket. And Z is the cost of opera per ticket. So, the amount Hassan has to pay for the ticket is represented by 2X plus Y plus 3Z that come from this information. And then, by replacing X with RM35, Y, RM24 and Z for RM28 that we get from the previous solution. So, the amount Hassan has to pay is RM178.